Ode de Ojure nwo mi. I know some are wondering what I just said. Well, I just said hello to everyone watching me in Ijebu dialect. I'm sorry if I butchered it. It's not my native dialect. <laughs> and the only reason I am doing that is because I am about to make a soup that the people of Ijebu hold dear to their heart. Joining me in the kitchen today is Asia. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa sis. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you Do you know me. anyone that is Ijebu? Yes. Okay, the reason why I'm asking you is that today we are going to be making Ijebu egusi and pounded yam. We're actually okay. going to be using real yam. We are going to go on a short break and when we come back, we are going to get into the process. Finish work for your cooking with Maggie Chicken. No rival. Maggie Chicken has all the natural ingredients you love, like onion, celery, turmeric, soya, and other carefully selected ingredients to give great taste and rich flavor to all your favorite meals. Maggie Chicken is your secret when it comes to cooking all the dishes you love for that unique chicken flavor. Oh yeah, shine with Maggie Chicken. Cook the difference. Welcome back to Maggie Diaries, everyone. To make a goosey jebu and pounded yam, you need a goosey already peeled, beef stock, onions, yam. I've already cooked my meats. There is shaki and beef and inuero inside. Pomo, crayfish, Maggie cube, Maggie chicken, scotch bonnet, fish, and palm oil. The very first thing we will do is to just start cooking the yam. So that while that is cooking, we are going to be preparing our soup. I asked if you knew anyone that is Ijebu. Who is the person that you know that is Ijebu? My grandma. Oh, or your grandmother is from, oh yes. wow. And is this something that she does? This is her best soup. You know, like I said, when we okay. were coming in, this is something Ijebu people are very yes, proud yes, of. Yes, yes, yes. And I hope we don't bungle it tonight. You will make your grandmother proud. The yam is already washed, so we're just going to get straight to boiling it. Today, we are actually going to be doing something interesting. Okay. Normally, we pound yam with mortar and pestle, yes. right? I mean, that was something that was really tasking for us when we were growing Very up. Very tasking. Exactly. But there are so many tips and tricks on social media these days that today, we are going to be making our pounded yam with a food processor. This can be the first time you'll be seeing this and you'll be seeing it on Maggie Diaries. Thank you very much. So the next thing I'm going to do is to also toast the egusi. I'm just going to wait for that to dry. And then... Yeah, napkin. Yeah, so that we can toast it. The reason why we are toasting the egusi is so that it can release the nutty flavor from okay. it. Exactly. Let's just wait for it to get dry so that we have absolutely no moisture. moisture. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so do you prefer this? A goosey, you know, like the creamy version, yes, or you this prefer is actually it? My best. Okay, let me just toast everything. We're going to do that in high heat. Okay. Okay, you're going to just keep stirring to toast it. You don't leave it because you don't want it to burn. Okay. So you just keep stirring and keep stirring. What's your favorite salad to have with a goosey? What we are having? Pounded yam. Pounded yam. Do you used to pound it? <laughs> Not at all. Oh, is there a special way you make your pounded yam or you use the alternative The pounder? mortar, but I don't do the pounding. Why now? Just the eating. <laughs> because it's very stressful. <laughs> and that's how the food processor comes in. Okay. You don't have to stress yourself, especially in this month of Ramadan. Yes. You want to just use something that yes. is easy and convenient. As you can see, this looks brown, golden and yeah. toasted. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend it over there with the onion, scotch bonnet, crayfish, and the water that I'm going to use to mix it all up okay. together. All right, thank you. I just blended our egg goosey. I didn't use all the scotch bonnets and all the crayfish because I just wanted to okay. not let it be too spicy. Let me check on our yam. That's almost done. So let me get the pot you are going to be using to make the soup. So I'm just going to... Um, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I know. Let me add some water so that we'll rinse it out in the pot. It's a kind of creamy soup, so don't be afraid of the water. Okay. I think you can just add it. Oh, all right, okay. that's perfect. Yeah. 
I mean, does this look like, like the consistency your grandma makes? <laughs> so we are just Looking. going to add the meat. I have beef, shaki, and inu around here. Okay. What other protein would you be adding to the egusi if you can? Mm. Like apart from any of these, which one would you like to add to it? Um, probably shrimps. Sh I was going to say prawn, but like they're almost from the same family. So <laughs> yes. yeah, I love seafood a lot. So that is something I would also add to it myself. Okay. So we're going to add two cubes of Maggi chicken. We already boiled our meats with Maggi star. Yes. Help me with one of them. Okay. Yeah. So in regards to our pounded yam, have you ever used food processor to pound yam before? Because I know you said no. you don't pound it, but oh, now you're going to see how it's going to look. And I'm excited. <laughs> I'm sure you are. Okay. I feel like we are still going to add Can some water to it. All right, products. thank you. The last ingredient is the palm oil, so we are basically done. <laughs> Okay, now that our egg is cooking, I'm just going to check on the yam to see if it's done. Can you please help me with the fork? I'm just going to let it cook for a few minutes. It was sort of tough okay. going in, so I'm going to let it soften further. We are going to go for a quick break now, and when we come back, we are just going to get on with our yam inside the food processor and show you how to make our own unique pounded yam. <laughs> Stay with Great. us. Welcome back to Maggie Diaries. I have my food processor here. I'm going to turn off the heat under the yam because it's already boiled and then we are going to start pounding or yeah. processing. It's not pounding anymore. So let me just open this. Let the steam out. Yeah. Okay, all right. Cool, 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 cool. While I'm scooping our boiled yam into the food processor, okay. I have a question for you. We do okay. trivia on this show so that our viewers at home can also learn what? during this month of Ramadan as okay. well. Imagine you ate out of forgetfulness or maybe you drank water or something. Does that invalidate your fast? No, it doesn't. Yes. Although I've heard a story one time about one brother that went to Ghana to prepare Eba. Prepare so he has oh, finished no. eating everything, drank water, then I remember that he was fasting. No, 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 no. no. And maybe it's a message for my land. I'm not letting to eat so it that it will be, be fine. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go process my yam and then I'll be back. I just finished using the food wow. processor and this is amazing. I know the first time I saw pounded yam so with sweet. food processor. Exactly, it's basic. Okay, you know what, I cannot eat this now. <laughs> you don't need mortar and pesto. Your food processor will do just the job for you. Saving you all the time you need. I know, I know. And the stress and everything. Yes. So I just want to scoop it out into our okay. plate. Can you please get me the yellow plate? Okay. While you are doing that, you are going to also help me with the pounded yam and scoop it on the plate. I'm going to check okay. on the egg. Ooh. Let me also cover this up. All right, so the next step for the egusi is just to put the palm oil and we are done. Are you doing well there? Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> but just, you can just scoop it out anyhow, don't worry. We are going to form it on the table. Let me add one spoon and see how it looks first to see if I need to add another. Uh, this color looks good already and that's going to be sufficient for me. Okay. Don't let everything, let us oh, put them. Oh, okay. <laughs> you want to also only serve yourself. <laughs> we are going to have everything on the place then we are going to serve ourselves. It's difficult using this. Yeah, so I'm just going to turn up the heat in the egusi. That's done, and we are ready with that. I'm just going to leave it open. Instead of scooping around it, you can okay. just remove the inside, and then it will be easier then. See how easy it's it is? Yeah, better. everything else. Yeah, exactly. All right, thank you so much. Let me cover up the egusi, and then we are done. <laughs> See, we didn't have to waste any time. We didn't have to be dragging mortar and pestle out yes. and start pounding yam in Ramadan. Maybe we should change the title of this meal to 
processed yam <laughs> and egg rusi. All right, we are going to go on a break. And when we come back, our iftar is going to be plated and ready to be served. Finish work for your cooking with Maggie Chicken. No rival. Maggie Chicken has all the natural ingredients you love, like onion, celery, turmeric, soya, and other carefully selected ingredients to give great taste and rich flavor to all your favorite meals. Maggie Chicken is your secret when it comes to cooking all the dishes you love for that unique chicken flavor. Oh yeah, shine with Maggie Chicken. Cook the difference. Alhamdulillah, we have come to the end of another cooking session on Maggi Ramadan Diaries with our Egusi, Jebu and Pounded Yam. Ready for iftar? The good thing about this program is that we are opening our viewers to a whole new palette of tasty, affordable and nutritious meals made with Maggi just because we care about you. So like come your way on the next episode with more friends. May Allah accept our ibadah and forgive our sins. Amin. Assalamu alaikum. alaykum.